My name is Daryl Barnes, and as I study Numbers 11, it makes me realize that it's time for a new strategy in my life. It's time for a true attitude of gratitude. I want to be thankful today for where I am. Thank you for the things you've given me, God. Thank you for the friends that you have in my life. Thank you for my job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I think if I can get that out of this passage, I have been successful. What led me to this passage was a King James Version of my father's, Grover Barnes. In Numbers 11, verse 7, it's describing manna, the food for the Israelites. And my dad had noted in the margin that it was the color of resin. The King James Version calls it the color of delium. Resin would have been yellowish, orangish, maybe a blackish tint, something like that. But as this story progresses, or actually before verse 7, in verse 5 of chapter 11, it says that the Israelites were complaining. They said, Man, we remember all the good stuff that we used to eat in Egypt. And they were forgetting that they were in servitude there. They said, man, we like the garlic and we like the onions and the melons and the cucumbers. And now we're stuck eating this manna. In verse 7, it says that it looked like a small coriander seed and that the Israelites in, in verse 8 had pounded into flour and boiled it in pots and that it tasted like pastries cooked in olive oil. So it was actually yummy. But were the Israelites happy with that? No. We want something else. We want some meat. In verse 13 of Numbers 11, Moses is talking to God. Where am I supposed to get meat for all these people? They keep asking for meat. It's a million and a half or two million people. Moses was so frustrated. He said, I feel like I'm carrying a baby through the desert. And so in Numbers 11, verse 31, God gives the answer. He blows quail bird, birds into the camp. And as the Israelites began eating, and it says gorging themselves on the meat, verse 33, they were stricken, struck with a plague. And many of them died there. So that place was called Kibroth Hatava, which means graves of gluttony, because they buried the people who had craved meat from Egypt. What I'm understanding from this passage is that I'm just like these Israelites. God provides for me every day, but I'm not always thankful about it. Sometimes I am. When I turn over to Philippians 4, 6, and 7, it tells me that I don't have to worry about anything. I can pray about everything. I can ask God for what I need and thank him for what he has done. If I do this, then I will gain a peace that passes understanding. It will guard my heart and mind as I live in Christ Jesus. So the lesson that I get is not that it's wrong to ask for variety in life. The lesson that I understand is that God is pleased with me when I'm thankful for what he's given me. And when I'm thankful for what he has given me, whether it be the food, the people in my life, the rulers that are over me, the elders in my church, my boss at work, the president of my country, when I can be content in all areas of my life, God is happy with that. Not only have I gained a smile from God, 
but I've also gained a smile from the people who are in charge of me. So today, I will be a new Israelite. I will have a new strategy. I will enjoy the journey and not always think I need to arrive. I can trudge this road of destiny with contentment. I'm thankful for what God has given me, and I look forward to what he will provide for me and for you in the future.